Hey guys, Cassie here. Have you ever wanted to get down into your splits? Well, this video is the video that will get you there. I have planned an amazing 30 minute routine that will get you closer to your front splits. We're gonna work on stretching your quads, work on stretching your hips and your hamstrings and really just loosening your legs. You don't have to be super flexible to do this video. There'll be a ton of modifications, but I do need you to be very responsible about your movement. Don't push yourself too much, but also don't hold back or else you're not gonna get more flexible, okay? So with that said, I'm really excited to spend the next 30 minutes with you, getting you closer to your splits, okay? So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. So you guys, our first move is your wide leg fold. I want you to bring your legs wide, like the name of the move, diagonal with the feet and the knees. And what you're gonna do is simply go ahead and slide your hands down to the mat if you can, okay? So if you feel like you can't touch the floor, that is okay keep your hands right here on your thighs, but I want you to flatten your back, flatten your chest to the floor, and basically hang out down here. This is gonna really stretch out the entire back of your leg, okay? You're just gonna hold, inhaling, and exhaling. I want you to flatten your back more, press the booty away from your body, press the heels into the floor, Press the palms into the floor and really flatten your back. Good stuff. Hi, George. Hi. Did you come to visit mommy, huh? Sir really likes visiting me during stretching routines. <laughs> okay, now you guys, since you're already down in this position, we're gonna do a little twist. So what I want you to do is to place one hand on your ankle like so. I want you to lift up your arm like so and give me a nice twist right here. Right, sir? All right, beautiful work. Really stretching through your chest, stretching through your fingertips. I want you to lengthen your spine, long legs, so good. And go ahead and come back to center. Palms down onto the mat, inhale. On the exhale, I want you to grab onto the other ankle, lifting your arm up like so, and stretch again. I'm really pressing this hand onto my ankle to get myself more of that rotation. Good, and keep flattening your back. Don't hunch. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Good stuff. Let's twist a little more. Go ahead and give me five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, now bring your hands down, bring your knees down onto the mat very carefully. Okay, you're really good. Now you guys, we're gonna head into our pike. So, I want you to bring your toes forward like so, okay? This is really gonna stretch out your hamstring and really gonna test out how flat your back can be, okay? So obviously everyone is at a different level of flexibility and you don't need to look like me in this video. You need to push your own boundaries, okay? And so that's something that you're in charge of right now. I want you to press your heels together, point your toes like so, give me a nice shoulder roll right here. Belly button into your spine. Then I want you to lengthen your hands towards your toes. Maybe you're right here and that's okay, you guys. That's totally fine. What I don't want you to do is to try to reach as far as you can, but you're hunching your back. Don't do that, okay? So keep it flat. Keep it flat right here and reach forward towards your toes, towards your heels. I really like to scoot my booty uh, back like so, so that I can really press my butt and my hamstrings into the mat, okay? so. Maybe you're not warm enough right now, but you will be by the end of this video, okay? So I want you to inhale through your nose, exhale, and I want you to flatten a little closer to your thighs. Keep pointing your toes, inhale, and exhale, keep flattening. A little tip to you guys is if you want to feel more flexible during your workout, I mean during your um, this routine, try to stretch at nighttime because right when you wake up in the morning, you're probably really stiff from sleeping in bed in one position the whole night. 
So that will be good. And also if you move around, like if you walk around or go for a, um, a little jog or something or do some Pilates before this, you will also feel more flexible before getting into this routine. So you definitely don't wanna come into this cold. Inhale, exhale, go ahead and flatten a little more, reaching the crown of your head towards your toes. There we go. Keep pulling, keep pressing your knees down into the floor and hold. Inhale and exhale, keep pressing. Hi, George. <laughs> He loves being in my stretching videos for some reason. I feel like he gets more active during my stretch videos. Hold, hold. Okay, keep pressing your knees down into the mat, flattening your back, crown of the head towards the toes. Give me five, four, three, two, and slowly lifting up. Okay, that felt really good. Now, next move, we have your low lunge to triangle, okay? This is more of a dynamic movement. So I'm gonna go with my right leg first and then I'm gonna switch on to the left side. So with that right leg forward, you guys, I want you to place your hands outside your foot, okay? So you're gonna go into this low lunge position, making sure your knee is right over your ankle, your foot is planted into the mat. I'm gonna tent pull my fingers here, and then I'm gonna lengthen the legs, and then I'm gonna come back down into that low lunge, okay? So we're triangling. Hi, George. And we're low lunging. Perfect. We are triangling, flattening the back, and we're low lunging, just like that. Eyes on the toes or on the edge of your mat, just like so. This is a really nice dynamic move to get the hamstrings and to begin to open up the hips as well. Okay? And I love this relaxing music we have going on right now because for stretching, I, I mean, maybe it's just me, but I personally do not feel motivated to stretch when the music is like going crazy and it's like bumping all over the place. That just makes me want to do cardio. Well, I don't even like doing cardio, but if I were gonna do cardio, the music definitely has to be fast and really fun. Um, for, for stretching, I want my body to melt. That's why I like to choose music that's soft and relaxing. Yes, yes, okay, there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you guys. Now, I want you to come all the way down, okay? Come down onto your knees, hands on the outside. Again, you can tent pull, you can fist, um, whatever you need. You can even put your hands on blocks if this is too much. And what I want you to do simply is to lengthen that back leg and then drop the knee. Lengthen the back leg, drop the knee. This one is all about hips right now, okay? Really press your heel all the way back, just like so. Good stuff. And I'm squeezing my glutes too as I'm pressing that heel all the way back. Beautiful. Making sure your knee is still tracking over your heel. Good stuff. Hi, George. Hi. He really wants me to throw this succulent plant. George, George. Okay, let me all do one. Let me all do one. <laughs> okay, you guys. One more. Go ahead and hold. Press long. Beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna go into lizard circles. So, you're gonna place both hands on the inside of your foot, okay, palms flat, and you're gonna move that foot a little bit farther than where it was, okay? And we're simply going to circle it in one direction like so. There we are, really loosening up those hips, really important for our splits. It's not just your hamstrings, which is uh, what most people think it's about, it's also your quads too, the front of your leg. Loosen that up, it'll get a lot easier to get into your splits, okay? And hips too, tight hips are gonna make it real hard. And if you sit a lot, you probably have tight hips. And reverse, reverse that lizard. Hi, George. Oh my gosh, he really just likes George. Mommy can't do lizard circles, okay. <laughs> All right, keep going, you guys. Really enjoying this movement, melting with the music. Yes, our splits are gonna be so good today. I'm really excited. And if you're not touching the floor yet, that's okay. It's gonna take time. You just need to practice. Flexibility, 
like building strength takes time and repetition. So be patient with yourself. All right, a little bit more. And three, hi George. And two, one more. And one. Okay, go ahead and drop the knee. Woo! Okay, I felt my quad on that one. Go ahead and lift yourself up. All right, George. Throw. <laughs> okay, so bring. go ahead and bring that foot back in a little bit more towards your center line, okay? Now we're gonna go into a low lunge with arms up, okay? This again, to open up your hips right here. So really important that you keep your chest forward. Everything is nice and straight. We're not leaning forward like this, okay? And I simply want you to bring your arms up and I want you to hold like so, okay? Make sure the knee is still over the heel. This is really, really important. <sighs> and you're just gonna let gravity take hold of your legs as you let your hips stretch. Tight, huh? I know, me too. Just hold, shoulders drawn away from your ears. Fingers pointed towards the ceiling in that Charlie's Angel. Roll your shoulders back. Lengthen your spine. Good. Okay, George. Okay. Okay, you guys keep holding. Okay. And three, two, one. Go ahead and bring that down. Whoo! And give it a quick break. Oh my gosh, do you feel that? Crazy. Now we're gonna head into our quad stretch, okay? So you're gonna go back down here. And actually, if you have sensitive knees, I want you to go ahead and grab a pillow or a towel. You can even double up your mat, but I'll grab this pillow right here because that's convenient. And I want you to place it right here for some knee joint protection. So pla ooh, place that pillow right underneath your knee. Okay, you're gonna go back in that same low lunge position. We're gonna go into your quad stretch. This one is so intense. So you guys, you are going to place your hand right here above your knee, right on, to th on the top of the, your thigh, okay? You're gonna grab your toes with your hand, okay? And now, ooh, I'm already feeling it. Woo, okay, so you can stay right here if you already feel it. You're gonna keep the hips forward, keep the chest forward, okay? Spine nice and long. And if you can, you guys, you're gonna try to pull your heel. Yes, George, tight. You try to pull your heel towards your booty. Okay, let's do this. Oof, here we go. Let's set the mind. And we're gonna pull your heel. Hi, George. I know it's too far for mommy to throw. Pull it in. Oh my goodness and lengthen it back out. Uh-huh, right, okay. Again, pull it in. Good. And lengthen it back out. This is so intense. You guys, if this is a lot for you, you can just keep holding this position. You can also use a towel to pull your leg in as much as you can. Try to keep your hips forward. Try to keep the gravity pulling down your crotch area. Okay, George, hi. Okay, so he understood. He wants me to now throw it. One hand. And you're gonna give me one more, okay? Let's hold it a little bit longer. Okay, prepare the mind. Inhale. And on the exhale, pull it in. I think it's so funny that we have this relaxing music going on and George is just going crazy National Geographic right here killing his prey. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my goodness. And coming back up. Oh, do you guys feel that? Man. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take away the pillow. We're gonna repeat everything on the other side before we prepare to go into the splits, okay? So we gotta even it out. We're gonna start out with that low lunge to triangle. So go ahead, hi George, and bring your other leg in front of you. You can tent pull the hands around your foot or flatten or fist, totally up to you. I'm gonna tent pull, and I want you to come out into that low lunge, making sure your knee is tracking right over your ankle, okay? And now, you're going to come up into that triangle, making sure your hamstring is straight, your back is flat, your chest is flat, and we're coming down, okay? Just like that. We are up, inhaling, 
exhaling and go ahead and come back down. Hi, George. You look perfectly parallel to my mat right now. What do you want, George? Do you want mommy to throw the succulent? Okay. <laughs> you guys, pets really make life so beautiful and so interesting. Um, you know, I really love Sir, but he also sometimes likes to make mistakes on some of my favorite carpets, like this one right here. It makes me angry, but you know what? It's better to have a soiled carpet with a pet than to live a life without a pet in a clean carpet, I've come to realize. And go ahead and come back down. Go ahead and comment what your pet's name is. I'd love to know. Sir George the Magnificent. Oh, 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 this is hard. It's hard to stretch and throw a succulent. Okay, George, you win, you win. <laughs> All right, you guys, go ahead and stay right there. Good stuff. Now, you can change your palms um, to fist style or whatever you want, which makes you more comfortable, okay? And I want you to drop the knee, and now I want you to extend the leg, extend the heel, drop the knee, Extend the heel. Hi, sir. He's so active during the stretching routine. But like when I do all my Pilates stuff and like uh, cardio Pilates or other videos, he just kind of just stays under the couch. I don't understand. What is it about stretching that makes him more <laughs> mischievous? He's so mischievous. Man, this is tight. All right, you guys. Keep that back flat. Keep pressing the heel back so that your leg is straight and really feel your hips opening right here. Good. Keep going. Nice work. You want to take your time and just melt with the music. Concentrate. Get in the zone. Good. All right. A little bit more. and go ahead and drop. Now, place both hands inside of your foot. Go ahead and move your foot out about like a couple inches, okay? Now we're gonna go for a lizard circles. Extend that back leg, and let's circle the entire body in one direction. Yeah, that feels really good for opening up the hips. Keeping your eyes on the mat, evening out the weight between your palms, the ball of your foot in the back, the entire foot, sole of the foot on the front. And every time you massage that circle, you're really loosening up that hip. Okay, let's reverse it. Okay, other direction. Hi, George. Hi. George really needs a haircut right now. He's gonna get one this weekend, so I'm sorry he um, doesn't have his cutesy furball haircut. Have you seen that, by the way? You need to see it. You guys need to follow him on IG. I always post his new haircuts, but they only last like a week, but he's so cute. He's so cute. He looks like a literal bear. <sighs> around and around. You're almost there, you guys. Keep going. You're doing so good. Give me three. And two, taking your time. And one, drop the knees. Whew, that one really works my quad, but that's good because we want to tire out your quad too so that it can get even looser. All right, you guys. Now we're gonna head into our lunge with arms up, okay? So go ahead and make sure your knee is tracking right over your heel, your chest is open, hips down into the floor, crotch down into the floor, Arms up in Charlie's Angel, and simply press down. That's it, you're just gonna stay right here, just like so, allowing gravity to pull you down, allowing your hips to lengthen. This can definitely be uncomfortable, so just try to figure out what works for you right here, what like feels good, but then also not so good, if you know what I mean. I want you to push yourself um, don't be 100% comfortable because that means you're not pushing your boundaries. So you do want to go past comfort, but not too much so that you get injured. I mean, this is a whole conversation you need to have with yourself to figure out how much do you want to push yourself today. 
You never want to push yourself to injury. That's right, sir, never. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, okay, my arms are work too. We're gonna go into our quad stretch. So grab your trusty pillow, go ahead and place it down, and put that knee right on top. Okay, George, George, mommy needs to go. Mommy needs to go into the next stretch. All right, you guys, so we are gonna stretch out your quads. This is definitely not my favorite stretch because man, it hurts, but it's good. Okay, so hand right on top of that thigh as Sir is highlighting right now. And I, you can also place your elbow here too. You're gonna grab behind. If this is a lot for you, hold right here. Otherwise, you can also hold a towel like so, or a band, or along with me, we're gonna pull it in. Ready? Inhale. On the exhale, keeping that chest flat, back tall, pull the heel in. Ooh. And bring it back out, sir. So this is a lot right now. Mommy needs to concentrate. Inhale. Exhale, pull it in. Yes. Mommy loves you. Ah! Okay, sir, Bobby will throw it, but it really hurts. Ah! There. Okay. Guys, let's do it again. Pulling it in. Allow that quad to lengthen. It's not comfortable. That's because we're sitting too much. And pull it out. Okay, guys, we're gonna do two more. Keep pressing your hips down. Keep pressing your crotch down to the mat. Hi, George, hi. Pull it in. Hi, George, hi. And coming out. Oh, no, 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 don't eat the pants. Don't eat the pants. No, don't eat the pants. And last time, you guys, pulling it all the way in. Ugh. Hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. Ah! Okay, George, there. Oh my goodness. All right, you guys. So before we get into our splits, I just wanna do a couple more things um, and then We'll get into it, okay? So go ahead and place this behind you, away from you. I want us to get into our half split. So, you know, go ahead and come back to that first leg we were working on, okay? Press your heel down into the mat, flatten your back, and flex your foot. Yes, as Sir goes crazy animal over here. <laughs> Press your heel into the mat, and I want you to push your booty back. Just that action, just that tiny little movement should make your hamstrings be like, oh, hi, I'm alive. Okay. Yes, so alive, so alive. Okay, now I'm gonna place my fist into the back and I'm gonna open my hip and close my hip. George, I'm gonna open my hip and close my hip to really get all heads of the hamstring. Hi, George. I think it's because I'm on his same level right now that he is getting real cray, real cray. He also doesn't let me work. He will literally put his paw on my phone and tell me to stop scrolling, which is great, except when I'm like trying to edit a TikTok or something, he'll like delete my draft and that's not cool at all. All that hard work. Okay, you guys, really, really good. Now, are you ready to get into your split on this side? Yeah? Okay. If you feel like you are not close to the floor right now, that's totally okay. You can go ahead and grab a couple pillows, put it underneath your crotch, so at least when you go down, you touch something, because I feel like touching your crotch to something on the floor feels really good. Um, you guys who do splits, you know what I understand. If not, then that joke was probably really weird. So do whatever you need to, but what I want you to do right now is to go ahead and inch your heel forward in the front. Go ahead and place the ball of your foot into the mat on the back. And I want you to slowly, slowly, slowly come down into that split, okay? So again, if you are not touching the floor right now, place a few pillows underneath your crotch. Trust me, it's gonna feel good to be able to feel like you're in the splits. Otherwise, you can also hold yourself up with your hands. You can place books here or yoga blocks, um, but then your arms will really tire out, okay? so. 
Once you're here, you guys, I want you to go ahead, bring your arms out to the sides, okay? You're gonna inhale, and on the exhale, you're gonna go ahead and come down, okay? And go ahead and lift up. Good stuff. Coming down. Lifting up. We've got to be strong in our splits too. We're coming down. We're lifting up. And just one more, we're gonna stay down. Coming down. Now bring the hands around the foot. And I like to really roll my split around so that I can get all, all the way low to the floor. So just like that, okay? Really, make sure you're pointing your toes Engaging your entire leg. This is really important because we want our splits to be strong. We don't want to just like fall into them. You want to be able to control them, okay? So no floppy legs. Pointing your toes, holding, holding. Inhale, hi George. Exhale, go ahead and melt down even farther. Hold. And I love dedicating this time to stretching because we rarely ever get to do that. Like we schedule in our workout time, we schedule in our work time when we sleep, um, but we don't schedule in our stretching. And I really think we need to because as a society that is so focused on work and a lot of like sitting work, it's really unhealthy. And like just working out like for 30 minutes a day or an hour a day, like that's good, that gets you moving. But a lot of times you're doing just like HIIT or boot camp, it's not stretching you. Like Pilates will stretch you, yoga will stretch you, but the other stuff generally does not. Okay, you guys, go ahead and bring yourself up. Oh, and bring the legs together. Oh my gosh. Oh, how are you feeling? You guys feeling good? Okay, if you're ready, we're gonna go on to the other side. We're gonna get our other splits. And don't you worry if your splits are not even on both sides, that's totally normal. Um, we are humans, we are imperfect, but also perfect at the same time. And we're asymmetrical sometimes, okay? And that's fine. So we just gotta work towards that symmetry. So go ahead and bring the other foot in front. I want you to flex your foot, heel down into the mat, um, flexing the toes up towards the ceiling, okay? And I want you to open the hip, close the hip. Open the hip, close the hip. Just like that, getting all heads of the hamstring right now. Good. So I'm curious, what side are you more flexible on? For me, um, I think my right is more flexible, but at the same time, that's also my injured hamstring. So if I overstretch it, then it becomes less flexible. But if I like give it a nice break, then I can go. I can go really well with it. Um, yeah, but I am right-handed, so maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. All right, you guys. Now, point your toes. Ball the foot into the mat, lifting it up. And slowly, 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 wiggle your feet forward and back until you can drop as close as you can into your splits, okay? George is just gnawing on that now. Again, if you wanna place your pillows underneath your crotch, go ahead and do that. Making sure your toes are pointed. Yes, look at that, you guys. You're doing so good. Go ahead and place your arms out. Let's do four of these uh, forward folds. Let's go ahead and come down for two and lift it up, straightening your legs. Ooh hair is all over the place. Two more. And last one. Place your hands down, grabbing behind your heel or your foot. And I want you to just roll from side to side. That feels really nice. Well, you got to work towards the point where it's going to feel nice. You know what I mean? Okay. And you guys, just if you're curious, it took me years to get into my splits. Um, I'm still working on my middle splits. I'm not there yet. Once I get there, I will do a video for you. Promise. Um, also, like once I get my handstand, I will do a video for you. But I'm really far from that, so we don't know when that's going to happen. <laughs> I will work on it. Okay. So be patient with yourself is what I'm saying. Okay. 
hold right there and I want you to flatten your chest towards your thighs hold it and just hang hi George hi George okay just hold right there taking your time in this pose pointing your toes engaging your entire leg in the front and the back just breathe Go ahead and give me five, four, three, two, and bring it up. Oof. And bring the legs together. Oh, ho, ho. okay. And since we are here, since we are in that pike position, I just want to take our final moments together to see if our pike got better. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes. Let's see if you are down lower in your pike than you were when we first started. And definitely you should be because you are warmed up now. Grabbing behind your feet or your ankles. I want you to roll your shoulders back, flatten your chest, making sure the hips, the booty is down into the mat. Inhale and on the exhale, I want you to flatten. Good, hold it a little bit. Press the knees down. Press the knees down into the mat for five, four, three, two, and slowly bring it up. There you have it, you guys. Congratulations. You just finished your 30 minute split stretching routine. It was intense, but we got through it together. We took our time. You listened to your body and I am really proud of you. I want you to come back to this video. Keep doing it maybe a couple times a week, a few times a week, so that you can get lower and lower into your splits. Again, flexibility is something that takes time. It takes patience and don't be so hard on yourself. Don't just give up because you didn't get down the splits today. That's not how it works, okay? It takes time. It's gonna take months. Maybe it's gonna take years. But enjoy the process because that is what it's all about. Okay, you guys, I'm really proud of you. So you guys, please subscribe to Blogilates if you haven't already so that you can always be the first to know about my latest workouts and stretches and all that fun stuff, okay? I love you so much and I will see you next time for our next workout. Bye now.